America, where it is reported that a mysterious beast is killing hundreds of animals. And now, new claims that this legendary creature has developed a thirst for human blood. For many Latin Americans, La Chupacabra has become a synonym for fear. It was really ugly, with a snout like this. I saw it go like this. It had a ponytail, and it scratched me. Listen to the frightened voices. <laughs> Examine the remains of animal victims allegedly attacked and killed by La Chupacabra, Spanish for the goat sucker. This is really happening. This is true. This is not a hallucination. A beast depicted by newspaper artists is kind of an animal alien. Veteran Mexico City newsman Jaime Musan claims he has seen the victims, and though the true nature of La Chupacabra is unknown, Musan believes there's real cause for alarm. They are really dangerous, and we have to be very, very careful with this phenomenon. This is not a game. According to Musan, Chupacabra sightings aren't unique to Mexico. In Puerto Rico, journalist Jorge Martin has documented hundreds of sightings of La Chupacabra. Right now, I would say it's out of control. It's happening everywhere all around the island of Puerto Rico. Uh, every town has been affected by this type of happenings, okay? Many farmers have had great losses because of this. Losses, especially of livestock drained of blood. This veterinarian recalls examining a rabbit said to be a chupacabra victim. His conclusions only add to the mystery. On one of these rabbits, what we saw is just a perfect round or circular wound at the neck area. I don't know if it's a vampire, I don't know if it's a strange animal, I don't know what it is, but what, what is happening is very rare. Until recently, only animals had been victimized by the mysterious attacks, but in Mexico, Musan's newest reports allege chupacabras may now be on the trail of human prey, attacking a handful of people this year. May 1996, outside Guadalajara, a local truck driver reports facing la chupacabra. He thought it was a dog, when suddenly jumped almost flew to him and bite him by the arm. Here you have uh, a, a report from the hospital recognizing that they don't know what uh, animal made these kind of bites. Alleged victims of La Chupacabra describe bizarre animals who they claim have been seen in Italy, Spain, and even parts of the southwestern United States. Scowling, menacing predators, sometimes possessing scales, claws, fierce jaws, and wings for flight. In Puerto Rico, a minister of agriculture downplays the alleged threat of La Chupacabra. Uh, I don't, I don't, I, I've nev never seen an animal like this, and uh, I doubt it very much if this animal existed in Puerto Rico. But that didn't stop Mayor Jose Soto from taking to the land, hoping to hunt down and kill one of the fabled animals. As a responsible mayor and administrator of this municipality, I'm engaged in the search and I'm looking forward to capturing one of these creatures. If I can achieve this, uh, without a doubt, I will make it public at once and I won't allow anyone to come and take it. So far, the chief has come up empty. One explanation for all of these La Chupacabra stories comes from Professor Lorenzo Flores, an instructor of Chicano studies. It's just the Latino psyche, that uh, the whole notion that uh, since we are a, a, a group of, of people that is very close to the earth, very close to our indigenous roots, we are very close to our spiritual roots. This ability to accept the chupacabra in this modern day and age is very, very real. Reporters like Jaime Musan say skeptics too easily dismiss the unexplained. These are just excuses for people that is not really making investigation. Anyone who wants to know just have to come and investigate, talk to the people, analyze the evidences, and then try to come to a conclusion. Meanwhile, the headlines persist and the villagers still fear what they can't understand. Earlier this month, in another mysterious attack attributed to La Chupacabra, 30 sheep were killed on the farm in the state of Sinaloa in northern Mexico.